What's up guys, it's Nojudix here and welcome back to another daily Fortnite content video on my channel. If you're new here, do drop a like and subscribe for more daily Fortnite content. At the moment, my actual computer has broken, so I'm using a laptop at the moment, so I've not got my webcam on display and I'm not able to do any challenges. But for you guys that are just here for interesting news topics, then today we're going to be talking about the new automatic shotguns, precision rifles and more potential weapons coming to Fortnite. Now, I will be putting them on the screen so do not worry uh, and also you'll see my lovely t-rex gameplay in tilted towers which by the way is absolute ownage uh now i actually did try and get the win but you know what guys i i disconnected so uh i actually just want, wanted to show my tilted towers gameplay so let's get straight into it and talk about the weapons so the first weapon on screen which i believe will come out on patch 3.1.0 you will have the auto shotty that means we'll have the third shotgun brought to the series. Uh, I do believe there is a sawn off shotgun in the story or whatnot, but I think this auto shotty will be absolutely amazing. If you look at the design there, there's going to be a lot of spamming with this, except since it's an auto shotty, I don't think it's going to be as powerful as the one hit shot like the pump. Uh, it says the shotguns automatic fire a widespread of pellets and an extreme fire rate and it can decimate crowds at a significant ammo cost. Uh, I have a feeling that's like a hybrid between a minigun and an automatic shotgun. I'm sure we've all played games and we know what it is. Now, the rarity is a legendary, so I definitely think that is going to give a new level of competitiveness to the game. Um, I also think it's great that we're getting new weapons and we have an idea of what those are, especially now that the jetpack is right around the corner. We have got the next shotgun. Now, I do think that this shotgun is going to be a one hit to the head, a little bit like the pump. Uh, it's called the Break Action Shotgun. This shotgun break action deals high damage at a fast rate, short range, and very limited to magazine size. So, presumably, that would be two magazines uh, for a shot. Now, a brand new sort of looking weapon, which is an assault rifle, which I do think we need to bring into the mix, is actually uh, called the slug gun. A rifle that fires slugs with high damage and impact, good accuracy, but relatively slow rate of fire and high per bullet. Now, if you do not know what that type of uh, example is, it is like a burst fire rifle, but slower and fires only one bullet but the impact of the bullet could explode. So essentially, it's like an assault rifle with explosive rounds. Not quite like a grenade, but you will feel it. And I reckon it's something that is going to be a happy medium when you get those nice shots on it. Uh, I definitely think it's going to be a better addition than the bolt action rifle. I'm very bad with snipers in the game. Um, I usually use scars and the M16s. Um, I have a very different playstyle to many players, but something I look forward to is trying these long sort of short range weapons, especially things like the bolt action rifle or the hunter rifle, I should say. That's the correct terminology. Uh, now, moving on to something that looks so revolutionary, something that we've just needed, a legitimate happy medium for the minigun. And that is a light machine gun. An assault rifle weapon, light machine gun, a heavy weapon with high damage, an extreme rate of fire, and a huge magazine size. Very inaccurate unless aiming down the sights from a fixed position and firing in short bursts. Absolutely brilliant, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to have that awesome fight. Now, the problem is, when we get all these weapons, and you've got to bear in mind, the game in the, what I would call it's in its prime, hasn't even been a year. We're going to have a jetpack. We're going to have potential vehicles. We're going to have um, shopping carts that are going to drive you around. We're going to have literally so many different resources and weapons. The game is going to be just a complete free-for-all. And I think, I'm not worried. But I do think it's going to mean that a lot of weapons that we love right now are going to be thrown to the walls. We're going to look at that and go, no. Or you get to a different size where everything is 
oh, I'm not good at that. I can't use that. And then you end up having a heavy sniper. And in the future, that's going to be great because loads of people are going to be able to prove what type of play style they need. And I do think that's going to bring another skill set to the game. Uh, it'd be really cool, though. I know I just want to put a side note out there to give you some food for thought. Uh, why don't we get some new building ways within the standard four builds? Like, can't we build circles or something? I'm not trying to be silly. I know that this concept in Minecraft works and you can't build circles. But I do feel that there could be some new shapes that are coming out in the future. Uh, moving on, though, to another uh, epic sort of weapon which is uh, M249 Saw. Again, it is an assault weapon, hydraulic, a slow-firing, high-impact automatic rifle with large magazines. Now, this is basically a happy medium, again, I love using that word, between the hammer crush and the light machine gun. Essentially, it is a Gatling gun. They used to have these M249 Saws, I believe, in Vietnam, in real life, and they would stick them on the end of the helicopter and they would shoot the uh, enemies and that i believe is now a normal weapon that people walk around with their hands um and usually you put it up with a tripod and you shoot people down but no it should literally trial blaze and uh, i do feel like these bases are going to be fortified and to add that wouldn't it be really cool if there was an actual turret that you could mount and uh, it did absolute ridiculous amount of damage, but your head was stationary and you just got shot down. Um, I personally think that would be quite cool and it's something I feel that they should definitely look into. Okay, so this is the last weapon and then I'm going to talk about my pros and cons and what I think. And then that should wrap up this news video about the new weapons that have been announced. Now, this is uh, a precision rifle. You can actually get this in all the colors apart from uncommon and legendary. So this will be your brand new Captain America happy medium average weapon. It is another assault rifle, but it's a burst type, a little bit like the one that we're used to already. An assault rifle that fires tight bursts that allow for precise targeting in mobile mid-range engagements. Deals good damage, but consumes its magazines very quickly. So really, what I'm going to say about this one is, well, it's an oomp, a UMP. It's a hybrid between a close-up assault rifle, but very accurate, meaning that you could definitely utilize this in short, confined spaces. I'm pretty much going to argue and say that this is going to make the silencer obsolete. That's right. The silencer obsolete. They actually removed the flash out of the game um, when it first started. It used to cause a lot of crashes and people used to believe that it was a little bit OP and uh, affected the actual play style of everybody. And I think I can agree with that. But I do see the content being removed when these new weapons come into play. Uh, they've obviously gone through some beta tests. They're definitely collaborating with the bigger YouTubers. It only makes sense for the big YouTubers to have an opinion on what happens on this game since this seems to be the next thing about this game and the best thing about this game. But could you just see the actual sheer updates that they're bringing to the table? You'll get a game, Call of Duty, Halo, or even Minecraft, and you'll just have to wait a long time to see a potential weapon or you have to buy the dlcs you don't on this all you got to do is play the game appreciate for what it is and you don't even have to buy the skins i actually choose to buy the skins because i feel that i'm actually reusing my energy and time in this game enough to warrant actually coming back to it bear in mind of course it's one of the best games there is to date and battle royales are the 2018 thing cross 2019 until it gets saturated as hell but the weapon updates are there you've seen what they look like i feel like all of them add a new level to the game there is one weapon though 
that I haven't actually touched base on and I might actually do another video on it. Uh, I'm sure you could also look it up but I'm not going to include it in this because I feel like they're very authentic weapons and I don't want to showcase the unauthentic one which is basically like an alien blaster, a laser gun uh, and I feel that that is a separate video within itself because sometimes these content developers like to lead us on a little bit and I feel that if I talk about it I'll be wasting your time but it is out there and it apparently is coming to the game so I really do think we've covered a lot of things in this if you guys have any comments or you've got any ideas of something I should upload on Fortnite please do let me know I am looking to content create many different challenges, many different ideas, and news videos are a lot of things that I don't usually do. And if you are enjoying the news, then please do let me know in the comment section below, because I would prefer to keep doing this game as much as possible, because it is the best and the greatest game at the moment. If you thought the video was good, then do drop a like. Click the notification bell at the top and that should inform you on the next daily Fortnite video. If you thought the video was good, then please do drop a like and subscribe and have a good day. Goodbye!